Hi, I'm Vinny from Hacks for Data Analysis, and this is the Hack of the Week. This Hack of the Week, we're going to work in Power BI. I'll show you how we can group data, or in other words, classify data, so that we can transform something like this into that. So here we have a list of names and the age of each person. And what we want to understand is how many people are below 18 years old, from 18 to 30 years old, from 30 to 65 years old, or above 65 years old. So we are grouping people into those ages. I'll show you two ways to do it. In the first method, we're just going to work with the visuals from Power BI. And it works really well in cases like this, when you don't have too much data to work with. You can download this file from the description of this video. Don't forget to subscribe, like this video, check out our webpage. So what we're going to do is we're going to group the age. And to do that, you go to age, new group. And here you can define how to group your data. You can play around with these options to group your data differently. So you can group by bin, which means you can select 10 chunks of data with the same size. But what we want to do here is change the group type to list. And we can manually select the numbers that we want to group. So the first group is below 18 years old. So on the left hand side, let's select all the numbers which are below 18. I'll press and hold control and select the others. After you select all of them, you can click on group and you can name it. So I'll name it below 18 years old. The next group from 18 to 30 years old, the same thing. So I'll select 20. You can also press and hold shift and click in the last number, which is 29. Now let's click on group and let's name it from 18 to 30 years old. The next one is from 30 to 65. So we select 43 to 64, press group and name it from 30 to 65 years old. And the remaining numbers, let's group them again and we can name them above 65 years old. I'll press OK. And now you can see that a new field was created. It's called age. Now all we have to do is just to create a new visual using this field. So let's go to the visuals. I'll select the table. Now I can drag and drop the age to the fields. So I'll drag it and drop. Now you can see the list is already here. All we have to do now is include the number of people. So let's drag and drop the name to values. Let's click here and count. Now you have the number of people for each group of age. This is method number one. Very easy, right? But now let's say you're working with a lot more data and you don't want to click and group all the numbers manually. In this case, the best approach is to create a new column. And to do that, we select the table. You can go to modeling, new column. I'll change the name of this new column to group underscore method two. And the formula is just a very long conditional if statement. So the first test, we can write if parenthesis age, you can select the age below 18. That means that if the age is below 18 years old, comma, if that's true, you write below 18 years old. Quotes, comma, if it's false, we need to test the second condition. 
which is from 18 to 30 years old. So again, if parenthesis, age, you can click on age, below 30, comma, quotes. Now the second condition is from 18 to 30 years old, quotes, comma, one more time, if, and the third statement is from 30 to 65 years old. So now it has the upper limit, which is 65. So age, double click, less, less than 65, comma, quotes, then the last, then the third condition from 30 to 65 years old, comma. Now, notice, we had four conditions, below 18 years old, from 18 to 30, from 30 to 65, above 65 years old. That means that if you want to group into four different groups, you need three if statements. So the number of if statements needed are always going to be one less than the number of groups. And this is because if the person does not belong to any of the three first groups, it can only mean that this person belongs to the last one. So we don't need to test that again with the if statement. All you have to do is to write that this person belongs to the above 65 years old. So that's what we're going to do. Quotes above 65 years old. Quotes. Close parenthesis. One more time. And again. And now hit enter. Now, just like in the method one, you see the new field called group method two just added to our table. So let's use it in a visual. So let's go to visuals, select the table. Let's drag and drop the new group to the values. And now let's count the number of people by dragging and dropping the name field. Click here, count. And there you go. That's the method number two. Now write in the comments if this was helpful to you or maybe you have another solution that you would like to share. I hope you like the tip of this week and I see you next week. Bye.